Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimbo back for another cheap versus expensive. Now, full transparency, neither one of these products are necessarily cheap depending on your budget. Uh, this one, this is the Auto Fiber Dreadnought. Now you guys have asked for a lot of microfiber towel comparisons and so I wanted, and the whole goal behind these cheap versus expensive product comparisons is to try to find the most comparable products. So, uh, with you know, a lot of people have suggested like Costco microfiber towels versus other types of microfiber towels, and it's it's a little bit difficult to do that because I try to compare the most identical products I can find. And by the way, if you have a suggestion for a cheap versus expensive product, you could place it down below in the comments. So anyway, today we're talking about the. Auto Fiber Dreadnought Towel. This towel is 1100 GSM. It's a 20 by 30, um, 1100 GSM, and it's actually two towels sewn together. So it's two, what would that be, 550 GSM towels actually sewn on each side. Um, this retails for $20 for this Auto Fiber Towel. Um, and then I found this Griot's Garage Towel. Now this is by far the most expensive towel um, I've ever bought, and this towel right here was $45. Now, the reason it's it's their extra large PFM edgeless drying towel, and in the picture, it looks identical to the auto fiber towel. So that's, um, and I believe this is a recent towel, whereas the Dreadnought has been around for a little while. So um, I'd venture to say this is a copycat of the Dreadnought, or maybe not a copycat, but a very similar towel. Now, I have been using the Dreadnought for a while, and in fact, I used it this morning. Uh, I was gonna test this one, but I haven't opened the bag yet. Um, so I used this one, and I dried three cars um, before I felt like it was time for the Dreadnought to uh, to dry out. So anyway, uh, this is, it says 1,044 square inches of thirsty ultra premium microfiber on the Griot's towel. Um, it's a 29 by 36. So 20 by 30, 29 by 36. I will say that, and it says 1,120 GSM. I have no idea how to measure GSM other than believe what they put on the packaging. So um, I'm gonna open them both up in this one. The uh, Griot's towel also says that it holds five pounds of water, which I, I found find just so fascinating. These claims, even like McGuire's with the fast finish. Uh, gosh, I just realized how lame I am. I freaking had these stupid ear pods in my ear that whole time. You're supposed to let me know. Um, I find it so fascinating, these claims that they put on uh, on products and so um, like Meguiar's with the fast finish said 100 car washes and for me even though I love fast finish it just seems so random that you could like on the 100th car wash they realized it failed and same with this it's like hold I guess it says holds over five pounds but we're gonna do the five pound experiment just to see if it really does hold five pounds of water and the difference uh, well let me open them up and I'll show you the size difference um, so Here's the Dreadnought. I guess I'll bring it in and show it on the hood of this car, but here's the Dreadnought, and you can see this almost like a, it's almost like a cotton towel. Um, and that's probably, you know, I, I'm not real, I don't like to get real technical in these things, I just kinda like to show them for what they are, but you could you could feel that these are, in fact, two, two towels sewn together. They do have a seamless edge, they're not, um, there is there is a sewn seam in there, but it's not rough. And let's see that. So that's about how big that one is. Hopefully the light's not messing with that too bad. I'm dealing with overhead sun. So there we go. It's actually got this sewn square in the middle, I'm assuming, uh, and you can't even see that in the frame, but I'll show you in the middle of a towel, there's a sewn seam. I'm assuming to help keep those two towels together. Now let's open up the $45 Griot's towel. And the one thing I am thinking with this Griot's towel, because it happens with me with the Dreadnought, is that even at this size, this is the Dreadnought again, um, it does get a little big. And that's my one complaint with in using this towel is that it gets a little big when you go down to clean a panel um, you, I almost find myself, or not almost, I do find myself folding it up quite a bit so that it doesn't drag on the ground and so that I have more control over the towel. So 
if there is one thing that does get annoying with these bigger towels, it's that the loss of control with it being so big. So in all honesty, and I have not tried the Dreadnought, or I have not tried the Griot's PFM towel um, yet, but it seems like it might get too big. So now this is very interesting. This, the Griot's towel, put that one over there so I don't get them confused, is a darker gray, significantly bigger, significantly bigger, is a darker gray, but I wanna show you this, and I've never, this is the first time I've, I've opened up the PFM towel, so, and I, try, I, I really enjoy doing this because it, it gets my raw emotion of the product, um, not, not some like, uh, you know, thought out, uh, you know, thing of what I've, what I'm, whatever. I'm trying to go too far there. Okay, hopefully the camera can pick this up. The PFM towel, the fibers are very short, extremely short fibers, and it, it, it feels rougher. Now, I don't know if that's because the fibers are shorter, but the fibers are, are significantly shorter than on the Dreadnought towel. So you could, hopefully this is this is coming in okay. Uh, you could see the color difference. They're both gray, but the, the, the Dreadnought is a little bit of a lighter gray. So let's see. On the, on the Dreadnought, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Let me get out of frame here. On the Dreadnought, the, the fibers stick out, right? They, they, they're not super long, but they're definitely noticeably longer versus the griots, a lot shorter, and I, it, it feels, this, the, the, the Dreadnought feels a lot more pliable, it, it feels considerably softer than the griots towel. This is just ginormous, I mean, this is kinda cool. You could, you, you might be able to, might be able to do, you know, freaking six cars with that, and again, has the sewn, the different seams in the towel, and yeah, it's same as the Dreadnought. It looks like it's two separate towels that have been sewn together. Uh, same sort of edge. Yeah, almost kind of seems like this, the Griot's, Griot seems to have a rolled edge and then sewn back over here, so sewn edge and, and sewn back over there, whereas, whereas the Dreadnought seems to be sewn directly on the, uh, directly on the uh, edge here. So let me lay them out on the hood and show you guys the difference. Okay, so I got them both laid out on the hood of this car. This is the, the PFM by Griot's. That is the Dreadnought. You could, you could see how much bigger the PFM towel is and the reason they probably did that is knowing about the Dreadnought towel they needed to justify a $45 price point, so it is a significantly big towel. And if you look at it, this is kind of cool. So they've, they've sewn to keep the two towels together, I'm assuming. So they've sewn right here, and it's essentially like, I don't know if this would be a 16 by 16, but probably a 12 by 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know, I have not looked up any marketing with this towel or anything like that. So I don't know if that's how they market it, almost like a six in one towel, but it's ginormous. And again, my, my one thing is, is that it might be too big in one of these, you know, it's like a wash mitt that I looked at one time and it's ginormous. It's a, like a, a microfiber wash mitt and it seems really cool because it's so big, but then in reality, it's t it gets too heavy when it's filled with water. And I have a feeling that this that's what this is gonna do. Uh, but again, I just wanted to show it. It's a ginormous towel. It would definitely more than clean one. But again, a $45 pr price point. The Dreadnought, I, I can't get over how considerably softer the Dreadnought towel is. It is a lot smaller. In fact, it makes, it feels, this towel used to feel ginormous to me. And after feeling the big PFM towel, this one feels tiny and a lot more controllable, uh, even though in reality, uh, as it starts to get wet, I do feel like I want more control with the towel. So again, uh, uh, this towel is an amazing towel, so a bigger one, I don't know if it's more amazing, but at half the cost, I'm going with the Dreadnought. That's my conclusion. I'm going with the Dreadnought, strictly because of what I know 
and, and it really comes down to it's softer, the fibers seem to be longer, I want more control um, over over the towel and it kind of, I'm worried that this, well let's do it now. I'm gonna get five, five pounds, it says it holds over five pounds of water. I'm gonna do the five pound water test, I'm gonna get a scale. If a gallon of water is eight pounds, we're looking at you know a little over a half gallon of water that this this should be able to absorb. At least that's what the the directions say. So let's let's do that now. All right, I'm having issues with my scale, but I want to show you that it is five pounds. Let's see if I can get it going. Take this off. It says air, but 4.8. So it's right under. Right under five pounds. I had it at like 5.6. I'm having trouble with it reading. So let's see if I can get it again to read it. There we go, 5.0, boom, nailed it. All right, five pounds of water in this, just below a half gallon. Okay, so what else I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna mark it, because I, I, even though, geez, even though the dreadnought does not say it, I wanna mark the level of water so I don't have to reweigh it. And I, I just want to, I'm just interested to see if the dreadnought will, in fact, uh, hold five gallons of water. So I'm gonna put this, mark it right about there. Okay, I'm gonna pour five gallons, or the five pounds, not five gallons. It's about three fourths of a gallon is, is five pounds. It's quite a bit of water. Let me go get the, the griots towel, see if it's gonna absorb it. I, I'm almost positive the griots towel should absorb all this water. It's gonna be awkward to get it in the bucket. And it does. It, it definitely meets its claim. I wonder if I could weigh it. Well. Definitely meets its claim. That bucket is empty. That's five pounds of water. So kudos to Griots for actually probably testing their claim. There's actually even a couple dry spots towards the edges because it was just awkward. But this is a freaking heavy towel now. So this towel has five pounds of water in it. Look at that, it's not even dripping though. That's pretty cool. Uh, it has five pounds of water, and it's freaking heavy. I mean, this would be, this would suck to dry a car with. Um, but, happy to report it actually holds its claim. That's good. Let's just for shits and giggles try the, uh, try the uh, Dreadnought, see if that's gonna hold five pounds of water. Let me go fill it back up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the dreadnought here and I got my about five pounds of water to the line. Let's pour it in the Meguiar's bucket. And it's very refreshing, I'll be honest, to, to see Griots put a claim on their label and it actually holds true to that claim. Uh, that's, that's really admirable. Uh, very heavy towel, so let's dreadnought, let's see. And it, it's not quite gonna soak it all up. It's about half the size in it so not that that there's still you know a little bit of water it probably soaked up three pounds of water uh, and I'm just being transparent you know I'm just showing it for what it is not nearly as heavy uh, at all Let's squeeze some of that out let's see if I could get an accurate squeeze some of that out there we go so it probably held I don't know if you guys could see that. It probably held, I don't know, three pounds, three and a half pounds of water. Let me uh, throw that up there and what I'll do is I'll actually pour it back in the bottle as best I can. Funnel would be huge here. Ah, I'm gonna end up missing a bunch. All right, so this isn't gonna work. So obviously a few gallons. So yeah, I mean, Figure if this was five pounds, 
were right here. I probably spilled another few ounces out. It probably held about half, half the amount. So probably two and a half, three pounds of water. Again, not sure how important that is really at all, uh, other than there was the claim on the bottle for that. So, all right, so that is the cheap versus expensive. We had the cheaper towel. Uh, this is the Dread Knot by Auto Fiber. I'll link everything below. Um, and this is the, so that was the $20 towel. That was the cheap towel. Uh, and this is the Griots. This thing's a freaking bear when it's got all that water in it. Um, that's the $45 towel. And so, um, Really, the, the gist of it is, either one of these towels are gonna do great. My opinion is that I'm gonna go and get two Dreadnoughts for the price of the one PFM, and the reason why I'm gonna do that is once either one of these towels, once they become full of water, they're essentially useless. So they're great um, when they're dry, but when they're wet, they're useless. So I gotta let both these towels dry out, um, which definitely became a hindrance for this video because I wanted to try the PFM and it is really rough. I mean, co comment below and let me know if, if you've witnessed that, but this is a rough towel. The, it, really, the fibers are rough. Hi! So my, cut, my niece, I can't zoom in that far, but my niece is across the street as I, as I do this video. So, anyway, so <laughs> I'm doing this video and my niece goes to school across the street with my daughter. So, uh, but this is rougher of a surface, okay? And extremely heavy and will take a little while to dry out. So if I'm doing it, I'm getting two of the dreadnoughts uh, for still less than than one of the PFM towels, simply because it's just too big. Like, it's just too big, guys. Honestly, it's just too big. So, or you could cut it. I don't know what that would do to frame, but you could get one and even cut this into thirds. I guess you could. Thirds would still be better, uh, but Auto Fiber does have a 16 by 16 in the Dreadnought that if I remember, I'll link it below. Uh, but kudos to Griots for uh, actually putting a claim on their label and the claim actually sticks. Imagine that. Uh, no such claim on the auto fiber packaging, but I did want to test to see how much water it would absorb, uh, strictly because I think it was fascinating. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. You're not going to go wrong with either one. It really just depends on how much money you're willing to spend on a towel. So Griots 45, Dreadnought 20. I'm sure there's there's de detailer networks and stuff that you could get each one of these towels uh, for a little bit cheaper than that. But um, there you go. So comment below what you guys would like to see next for cheap versus expensive. I love doing these series. I love testing products and this is just a whole lot of fun uh, to see you guys interact as well. So let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get the updates of when I release new videos. I'm trying to do two a week, uh, but some of these products are friggin' expensive. So um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.